Why do you keep talking about Marco Rubio? <laughs> because it worries me. I think he's going to become the establishment candidate. I think he is the establishment candidate to beat, and it worries me because his foreign policy is way out there. I mean, this is a foreign policy that right now he's calling for a no-fly zone, but so is Hillary Clinton. And so the thing is, is I think people need to realize that when they go to the polls, is there a difference between Hillary Clinton and Marco Rubio or Hillary Clinton and, and Jeb Bush? I don't mention Jeb Bush because he's, he's not doing as well. And so I don't think he is necessarily the, the one that has to be, uh, um, uh, the attempt has to be made not to allow him to win the nomination. I think Rubio has a chance of it, but I think he'd be very, very bad for the country. What do you, I, the Marco Rubio, where do you see the, if, if he were elected, the nominee and elected president, what do you see going wrong with this nation? Um, I think we'll have troops back in the Middle East. I think his advocacy for intervening. But see, he's also realized he and McCain and Graham, they're all sort of the same. They are for a foreign policy and for a use of authorization of force that would be unlimited geographically throughout the Middle East. If they had their way, and we had this vote in the Foreign Relations Committee, and I voted against this, they voted for a use of force that is unlimited geographically and unlimited time-wise. So right now, we could have troops in Libya, Nigeria, Mali, Syria, Iraq. We could have troops in maybe a dozen countries. And what's Actually, wrong with it? We can't afford it? Well, one, it doesn't work. We can't afford it. And I think there needs to be an American interest. I mean, if you're going to have thousands of our soldiers, our men and women die, there has to be an American interest.